Welcome to the Local Marketing Source Weekly Update, brought to you by LocalMarketingSource.com. This week's Local Marketing Update is brought to you by Scott Gallagher. Scott is the co-founder of Local Marketing Source and has become the recognized expert in providing online marketing services to local businesses. Follow Scott on Twitter at ScottGallagher5 and on Facebook.com slash Scott P. Gallagher. Hey, well, good afternoon, everyone. Scott Gallagher here with Local Marketing Source, and this is our weekly local marketing industry update. There hasn't been a lot that has gone on this week, as a matter of fact, absolutely nothing. Uh, so this is the end of this call, and I hope you guys have a great week. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you guys at all. There really hasn't been a lot, but we've got a few things to talk about uh, in any event. You know, over the last six months at Local Marketing Source, you guys know I've been putting a lot of time and effort into growing this business and growing some of the expansion of it in the education. And our recent, uh, recent premium program went over very, very well. And that led me to recognize not everybody's got five grand lying around uh, to start a program, nor are they available full-time throughout that week. And I had a lot of LMS members asking me about something that's a little less of a commitment, but offers that same value. And so I thought I'd take a little bit of time today to talk about our workshop that's coming up in a week and a half. And it's open to, it's not open to the public. Uh, it's open uh, to local marketing source members. And we've already got a couple that's in. Um, I've got five seats that are available. So there's only three seats left. And for local marketing source members that are currently paying for a membership, um, we're going to give you a $300 credit. So the program itself is $500. And as an LMS membership, you're going to get a $300 credit for your, for your membership. So what that means is uh, you're going to get several months of membership, of the LMS membership for free. And drop 200 bucks in this. It's going to be two full days. And I thought I would start to look at some of the itinerary because those that aren't interested in this program are still going to get value from today's call. I'm going to go ahead and share my desktop right now. And I want to pull up just a preliminary itinerary of this to look at it. Because what that is, it's, it's essentially the local marketing source mind map. And I'm going to go ahead and show my screen here. And right now, you can see that we're looking at the LMS mind map. And to build an agency and get an agency off the ground, you're going to need assets to, uh, to demonstrate your authority that's out there and demonstrate your capabilities to deliver this. Then, of course, after you do that, you've got to get out and sell. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about sales today uh, because I've got a... New individual that I'm working with today and getting them ramped up for sales. So it's a perfect time for all of this. In any event, the uh, the premium program and the workshop are going to go through these different elements that are relevant and these different marketing assets and address all of those different six psychological triggers that are important to human beings. Uh, essentially creating that authority, creating that trust that's in there and getting the exposure that's out there. So you've probably had a chance to take a look at the mind map before. Let's just see if there's anybody that's got any problems going on because I'm using some new technology, a uh, lavalier microphone. So anybody, nobody's complaining about the audio, that's good. And to create some of that authority, trust, oops, going to the mind map here, close down the sales department, we'll look at marketing assets. And essentially marketing assets are there to create some of that authority. Uh, with this new individual, I was actually out on the street this morning, it was a lot of fun. And just walking into some, some offices with a published book, a DVD, website, business cards, nicely dressed. The reception is amazing. 
and you want to get new clients, that's, that's the easiest and quickest way to do it. Do a direct mail package. And when we start to look at, you know, for example, the off mailer package here, you've got, you know, a three mail system that is sent out and boom, 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 and help you generate some leads. Now, the workshop essentially is going to go through each of these things. Now, to build a website, how long does that take if you don't have one? Well, people say, I already have a website and this and that. Well, let's look at your website. And I'll tell you what, man. Holy cow. Uh, the shoemaker shoe is the one with the holes, right? But a marketer's website should address marketing principles, wouldn't you think? Like a call to action above the fold, maybe, is something that may be important. Maybe um, segmenting your audience properly and then creating a message specific to that audience. Those are probably two of the biggest mistakes I find on all of your guys' websites that are out there when we go and look at it. It's like I shake them, guys, what do you, I'm like, holy cow, you know what? I never really thought of it that way. Well, wait a minute. You're the marketer. Market your business properly. Create that trust, create that authority, get that exposure that's out there, and it's going to vastly improve your opt-in rates, your conversion rates, and your funnels and whatnot. Direct mailer. You think if you send something, especially in the United States, in the mail, you're going to generate leads? You know how many you have to send out? So go the extra lengths of qualifying your target audience that you're initially going to go after, create the marketing material that's going to resonate with them, with that audience. So if you're niche based, write a book. People say, holy cow, you know, that's the hardest thing. How am I going to write a book? You're a member of local marketing source. You've got the ability to utilize and go through all the different content. You can use my Word document is what I'm saying what I'm getting at. Am I on video? I don't know if I'm on video. No, I don't think I'm on video. I can never tell with this. Oh, there, there I am. <laughs> I am not dressed wearing one marketing stuff, local marketing source stuff today. Uh, let me turn that off. I'll go back so you can see my desktop. Not really sure. Go to webinar is not the best solution for this. I'm utilizing Wirecast now for live stream on YouTube, and it's pretty awesome. But you know, you walk in with a book. I turned my video on for a reason. You know, something as simple as this. It cost me, you know, two dollars and thirty-one cents to print. And if you don't have one, you know, use mine if you have to. But the, the, the best way to create one is to derive one from your keynote presentation and get it transcribed. And utilize all the different slides of your keynote presentation as the different chapters of your book. Get it into your offline mailer and boom, you're generating leads. You know, your different opt-in channels and discussions of that. We've got a read, watch, touch, talk channels. You know, what does all that mean? So you've got access to a lot of different education that's in there. And people have seen it. But the challenge becomes they don't take action or they're afraid to take action. You know, it's always that first step of everything. If you've never built a website before, it seems like a huge task. If you've never written a book before, it seems massive. You know, how do you create a video and then get into learning all the stuff of all the different video aspects? You just need to know what you need to know to get in there to create something. So that's why we've created the workshop. And I do encourage to try out. Now, what, what it is, is it's not this weekend, it's next weekend. And I've got it scheduled to run on Saturday and Sunday, but I've been asked to replicate Sunday. So we're going to have two different days. You know, this is going to, this Sunday is also going to run on Monday. It's going to be the same things. I know this doesn't look pretty and this is not intended 
to look pretty. You guys are just seeing some of my working documents here. Of course, if you want stuff to look pretty, you know, we can send you over to, where are we going to send you to? It's our sales page. And on here, you're going to get a full detail of what's going on. Keep in mind, though, as I'd mentioned, um, we can move these days around if the 27th and 28th don't work for you. This is a program that we're selling for a thousand bucks. We're giving it to LMS students right now for 500. And in addition to that 500, um, you're going to get three months of, 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 of access to the membership. So right now, LMS members are paying a hundred bucks a month to be a part of this. Our retention rate is well over 11 months. You start to do the math. And what this is going to do is if you've noticed in the itinerary, this is not just education. I am not, this is not PowerPoint presentations. You guys have all of this stuff. So, for example, when we talk about the plan creation, the very first thing, this is your plan. I'm going to pull up my one marketing plan, and I'm going to talk about for half an hour some of the challenges I went through it. And I'm going to say, here's my plan. Now spend 60 minutes starting it while we're on Skype with the cameras going for the whole day. I'm going to be watching you. And trust me, I've got the whip that's out. Because I need five LMS students to go through this program so I can get five testimonials for this and grow this. In other words, you've got to kick butt. And if you don't, then I don't win. You don't win. You waste your money. It just doesn't work, right? It's not going to work out. So I'm looking for people that are, well, I'm looking for three more people right now that are, are, are ready to work for two full days. Uh, and, and get this banged out. And it's not the $5,000 premium of our premium program. In addition to that, I'm going to give you access to my Dropbox. And with that, um, you know, I'm showing you here, I believe. Uh, that's a student. I don't want to do that. So this is the template that I drop onto your computer, and it's got all the files that I use in my agency, and I'm going to go through all of those files and discussion on how, how it works. Of course, these two days are also going to be recorded. It's essentially training. And as we go through all the different proposals, the proposal templates that I've got there, the, the, the cold call scripts, if you want to utilize those, uh, the contracts that are available, uh, even in the operations department, uh, all the different templates that we utilize, you know, so for SEO, setup, new client implementation, this is, the, this is the checklist that I use in my agency that when a new client comes on, these are all the things we do in the very first month. All the questions we ask, did you get this? Did you get that? Do you have this? Do a search for here. So your project manager or yourself is, is ensuring that everything is done properly. But the caveat of this comes down to getting new clients, right? We're talking about business to business sales here, and, and that's always a challenge, no matter how you put it. Getting clients is tough. <coughs> and the first few are always the toughest. I mean, we could look at some of the LMS students, like look at Josh, look at Scott Meadows, look at uh, Charles, um, Hayden, um, Efren. Efren's a great story of LMS because he was with, I better check to see if he's on the line right now. He's usually on the line, uh, but Efren was with us for quite some time. Yeah, he's there. And he did join the premium program. He paid the big bucks for that. And uh, with that program, you've got access to the LMS membership for one year. And albeit he was a part of the membership for quite some time, and it took the the it took the actual execution to get him to get out and work for it. He got himself a couple of clients. And actually, I got to crack the whip on, on Efren a little bit. I was doing a video today for a client, and he's working away. I know he was working away on LMS today. Not on LMS, sorry, on his business. Um, and I saw a bunch of pictures pop up, and, you know, we've maintained the collaboration of, of Dropbox, uh, the two of us. So I will send him a message sometime, I, you know. 
the hell are you doing working at one o'clock in the morning, dude? And, um, but it needs that. So this, this workshop or, or, you know, forget the workshop for a moment. Forget my membership for a moment. You guys are, you know, you guys are spending money here to be a part of this. And you've got access to 60 hours of recorded documents over a over a hundred videos, over 60 different templated documents. And far too often do I see people come in and it's like, holy shit. And they're just overwhelmed with this. And where do I take action? You don't have a business until you have a client. And, you know, when I sit back and I think about, well, what do you need to get a client? You don't need all of this stuff. You don't need a website. You don't need to rank. You don't need a book. But it helps. And like anything in sales, anything in sales, it all comes down to numbers. You've got to do the numbers. Simple as that. And what we do is we start to uh, identify zones. And if the town is about twenty to 40,000 people in size, that's, that's the zone. But typically, you know, it, it all depends on the business, the business type, the service that they offer, the growth, uh, the geographical landscape. I mean, my office is on a river. And the fact of the matter is, is this river divides a town into two. And people don't cross the river as often, especially if they're further up or down the river they stay on one side of it even though it's the same town so you could in theory get clients from on either side of it and you'll notice that google picks up on that stuff and does tend to separate zones in in that fashion and then then you've got to decide well how am i going to target the zone and actually trying something a little new right now that I know Josh Nelson got successes from. I've never, uh, I've never approached it this way and I'm testing it right now. And you see, when I worked with the premium students, we spent a lot of time back and forth segmenting our list. Segmentation. I, I, I've told this story a lot. I don't want to have to repeat myself, you know. Has anybody ever heard my avatar story of going to an internet marketing conference and throwing my arms up and going, like, I want to I want to swear right now, guys, because it frustrates the heck out of me. I mean, that's marketing 101. Remember how I started this conversation? The marketer, sh the shoemaker's shoe is the one with the holes? Well, the marketer's website is not the one to have the holes in it, you know, the simple little fundamentals. So identifying who the prospects are, the right prospects, and there's always that question, like, Scott, well, how do I know what's good? The right answer to that is, is this business a business? Well, let me take a step back. Every business should have some sort of marketing budget available to them. And typically that's going to be between 10 and 30% where they're going to reinvest back into that business. Let's stick with 10%. Let's use a dentist or a chiropractor or any type of service of that way or an attorney. And let's say that attorney is billing 300 grand a year. What's 10% of that? 30,000 bucks a year. So what is that? Almost three grand. That's like two and a half thousand dollars a month. So the the one off attorney that, you know, the Saul Goodman that's in his in his back end office, if if well <laughs> that show man. I just totally threw myself off. Um could afford twenty five hundred bucks a month in marketing. And they want to get the more profitable business. They don't just want the quantity of business. So, you know, when you're looking at your list, you ask yourself, is this somebody that's willing to do that? Well, in my case, if the chiropractor is 60 years old 
and he has a website that hasn't been updated in 10 years. What's his like what's the likelihood that he's going to want to start to grow his business and become number 1 on Google and capitalize off of 25% of his market? It's fairly easy to say that the number one spot can capitalize off of 25% of a market. That chiropractor is likely not going to jump on board with me. So I'm going to cut, cut him off the list. And I'm going to get my list down, really, to almost as small as possible. You follow some business-to-business -business numbers. You know, if you meet with, well, if you get 10 people on the phone, and communicate with 10 people, you should be able to get three to four meetings out of that, and you should be able to get one close out of that in each zone. So having a list of 10 to 20, you know, definitely not the same conversion as a telephone call or the same conversion as stopping off to them or a pure later type of package. But direct give you a good return. You probably want to triple that and you probably want to be looking at numbers of 20 to 30 per zone. And we rank a value on each of those prospects. Prioritize them and then make the efforts to visit with them or earn the right to a 15 minute meeting. And that's where once you've earned that right, that's where your sales process starts. And you can follow the SEO sales trail for that. So back to the workshop. This is just a proposed itinerary with the times. You can see two columns of education and execution. I've got a bonus day on the Friday night that we're going to cover some other things. I'm going to invite the premium members to come and sit in on this evening because um, they'll they, they've got they've got quite a bit. I mean, they all graduated. They did very well. Which, by the way, we're opening up uh, another premium class um, in 45 days. So I'll let you know about that in a little bit further. But I think that this is a good deal. I've also, of course, you know, over on the sales page, guys, uh, you know, in our good fashion. You know, full money back guarantee. So you can sit in with me all Friday night and half of Saturday until lunchtime, until noon on Saturday. And if this program, if this workshop is not for you, uh, we'll give you a hundred percent fun, but mark my words, we want successful people. So I kind of feel like, you know, when I sat down and, and, and recognized, well, heck, there wasn't a heck of a lot to talk about today. Um, what are some of the biggest pressing questions of LMS students and it's going to get customers. And then I thought, well, Getting into some discussions of the mind map and at least the boot camp or the workshop itinerary will give some value towards that, you know, addressing one of those six psychological triggers of authority. And then have a discussion about the qualification process of identifying leads and then approaching those leads and getting some business from it. So I'll go ahead. I'm just going to post this on here. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we can get, you know, fill those three seats with LMS students so I don't have to uh, open it up to the public. Um, I just don't want to work with more people. It's, you know, you're, this is a semi-private environment. Unlike the premium program that does give you the whole private environment aspects, but that's a, a much, much bigger commitment. And so I'll post this in here. I think this is a no-brainer, guys. If I can get it posted. Well, maybe I put it in here. Here we go. 
So I'm going to open the floor to any questions that you guys might have. I'm just going to take 30 seconds here. Well, thanks for watching the local marketing industry update. We've got these things coming out every single week. So if you liked with what you heard, just click the button right above me right here to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to get a little bit more, right over here, go check out localmarketingsource.com. We've got free reports that you can grab. You can even register for our free marketing course to get in and see the portal. Or just go ahead and follow us on some of the social channels. We'll be around. Until next time.